Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you all how to um, navigate the uh, viewport in Autodesk Maya. So um, I want to begin by uh, explaining uh, one or two things. So uh, first off, let's just make sure if your grid isn't on already, it should be by default, especially when you first install the software. However, if by chance whatever it got turned off, go to display grid and that will turn it on and off. So for this we definitely want it on because it's going to really help you visually understand uh, the viewport and the workspace you have uh, as we start to sort of figure out how to maneuver in this uh, viewport. So the first thing I'd like to explain, I think it's a pretty important concept here, uh, the center of this uh, grid, so you'll notice these bold lines here, um, here and here and they create this plus sign or an X right so directly where they intersect right in the center here this is known as your origin so that's X equals 0 Y equals 0 and Z equals 0 so um, what that means is this is the center of the entire workspace of your scene okay so uh, another thing to take note of is right down here excuse me let me get out of the way uh, right down here in the bottom left hand corner if you can see it where my mouse is hovering over that is um, the uh, a little um, uh, signifier to show you um, which direction you're sort of facing whether it's X Y uh, or Z when you're rotating around which can be really helpful to sort of help you figure out where you are in uh, the viewport uh, especially when beginning once you get used to it you kinda already figure it out um, as you go along but um, let's get into actually rotating and right behind me as I just pointed out uh, down in the left hand corner of the viewport you have your little XYZ it's uh, red blue green uh, RGB if you will so um, holding alt and left click you'll notice this little uh, it's almost like a recycling uh, symbol in a way. This will allow you to rotate around in the viewport, right? So you'll notice in the keyboard I have in the bottom left hand corner of the uh, screen, holding Alt and left click allows you to rotate around in the scene. So um, in case uh, you're ever curious on what buttons I'm hitting. I'm very uh, verbal on which keys I am pressing. Uh, however, you can always um, double check in the bottom left hand corner. Also, uh, holding Alt and right click will allow you to zoom in and out. So holding Alt and right click and then moving your mouse obviously up and down will allow you to um, zoom in and out. Same with rotating holding alt and left click just move your mouse around and you'll notice you're able to start to maneuver around the workspace and then last but not least holding alt and middle mouse button click allows you to pan so holding alt and middle mouse button click allows you to pan your scene so um, I'll go over that one more time holding alt left click allows you to rotate underneath on top uh, 360 degrees around. Holding Alt and right click allows you to zoom in and out. So right here where these points intersect, this is known as the origin. I just zoomed in just to give you a much closer look. So holding Alt and uh, middle mouse button will allow you to pan. Okay, so um, that's really all there is to navigating. It does take some practice, so give it a little bit of time um, and you will get used to it. It'll be like second nature riding a bike as the semester goes on. You'll get really comfortable uh, to using those uh, those controls. So um, one last thing I'd like to cover. I know I th believe I covered it in the last uh, uh, user interface video but I figure I might as well cover it one more time since it does involve viewports. Um, the two buttons right, located right over here. Okay, panel layout. And so these are, this is just the panel layout uh, uh, shelf, I guess. So 
You'll just go ahead and click here uh, if you want to show all viewports or click here for your perspective. So I'm going to switch really quickly a different way. By tapping spacebar, make sure your mouse is hovered over the actual viewport. When you tap spacebar, it will give you these four windows. So it's going to give you your top, which is your Y axis, your Z, or your front viewport, which is your Z axis, and then your side, which is your X axis. So it's just giving you these orthographic viewports um, of X, Y, and Z, but also labeled front, side, and top. Now, one other thing I would like to go right into here is that by tapping spacebar into the top viewport, it doesn't matter it, any one of the any other one besides the orthographic view. Um, if you hold Alt and left click, you will not be allowed to rotate. It says orthographic views are currently locked. Now you don't want to change any settings on that because um, I you just don't want to. Um, Basically, what the orthographic means is that this is a two-dimensional uh, view of your 3D workspace. So um, it won't have the perspective of your object. It's going to be um, this would. Uh, how do I explain it? So um, in your when you begin modeling, if I just go ahead and create a cube right we have a cube and we can see all three dimensions in here you will only be able to see the top of this one this front on this viewport and the side of this shape here now um, you can pan and you can zoom in however you cannot uh, uh, rotate and that's only for the orthographic one so I'll go ahead and show you firsthand so you can zoom in and out you can pan but you cannot rotate and last but not least okay so zoom pan is good and uh, rotate is not and one last thing just to take note is what I was talking about with that origin before the uh, position of this cube right here is on translate X Y and Z is 0 0 and 0 um, so that is the origin of our workspace. So um, other than that, I don't really have uh, too much else to show you on this. Um, if you do have any questions, go ahead and shoot me a message uh, or inbox me or email me, um, whatever you're comfortable with. and. I'll get back to you as soon as possible, uh, but it just does take a little bit of practice to get used to. So um, just uh, try to, you know, navigate through this a little bit, um, but it will become like uh, riding a bike, if you will, um, as the semester goes on. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video.